When it comes to finding resources for cybersecurity, there's a lot of good news out there, but there's a lot of challenges too. On the good side, businesses of all sizes are finally starting to take steps to better protect themselves and their customers' data, deploying security tools like next-gen firewalls everywhere they need to be deployed. But what happens after the security is actually put in? How effectively are businesses able to listen to and monitor the alerts to determine what actions are needed? Or as the business matures and new technologies are introduced, able to find the time to update their security to match the speed of the business? Well, if you're like most, the answer to these questions are not so well, and frankly, we could use some help. And at Fortinet, we understand the growing need for cybersecurity professionals isn't getting much better. And it's why we developed a turnkey SOC as a service solution called 40 Guard SOC as a Service. 40 Guard SOC as a Service allows you to outsource the monitoring of all the logs and alerts your FortiGates are throwing at you to our team of Fortinet security experts capable of monitoring your environment 24 by 7 using our own high end SOC solutions so you can take back your teams this time, reduce burnout, and give your people the breathing, breathing room they need to really improve and grow your business. Let's take a look. FortiGuard SOC as a Service dashboard gives industry analysts and users alike a ton of information at their fingertips to really understand what's going on with the alerts and what's going on across their environment. I can easily drill down by status, by severity, by SLA, however I'd like to organize my understanding of what's actually happening. Now, even though there's a ton of information here, the reality is all of this is being monitored by the Fortinet security team. This is what you're paying to not have to worry about. What you're paying for is if we find something that's worth your time, we'll let you know in as little as 15 minutes based on the severity of the in incident, what's going on, why, its impact, and our recommendations on how to fix this problem. Let's look a little bit deeper in what I'm talking about here. So if I look at these alerts, I can quickly see that these are all categories by severity, a medium, high, low, as well as a lot more information, again, at your fingertips with the ability to search if necessary, if you have a ton of logs. So let's go ahead and take a look at this attack, which is a nice high attack, and what's going on here. So first and foremost, you can tell in the description, we quickly explain what's happening and really get into the details of why it's and what's going on. And analysis and recommendation, we go even deeper, explaining what its impact is and our recommendations on how to fix the problem in the first place. And again, just like the dashboard, I can quickly scroll down and see a ton of information super available at my fingertips, event correlations, indicators of compromise, firewalls that are being affected, endpoints being affected, users reporting, the alerts associated, and as well as our optional forensic analysis capability if that's been chosen. Now. For the most part, as long as somebody understands how to configure a FortiGate, they can easily follow this, uh, our instructions. But let's say they de do need more help, or let's say they do have a question. That is where this comment section comes into play. So all somebody needs to do is quickly copy the link, drop it in the comment section, and interact with a real live Fortinet security expert located around the globe 24 by 7. This is not a chatbot. This is a real live threat hunter trying to help you understand what's going on and the steps to remediate. Now, obviously in a P1, this tit for tat goes by very quickly. We slow down a little bit more when it comes down to a P4, but again, tons of information available at your fingertips. Now, what's going on in the background? How is this entire system working? So the way the service works is you will be forwarding the logs from your 40 gates or your 40 client to our instance of 40 Analyzer Cloud. 40 Analyzer is Fortinet's giant analytics platform that allows you to slice and dice and really get into the meat across the entire Fortinet security fabric. Once those logs are in our instance of 40 Analyzer Cloud, that's what allows our SOC team to go to work with our instances of 40 Analyzer, 40 SOAR, and additional other 40 SOC tools that help us with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and speed up the entire process. Because guess what? Who better than Fortinet understands the Fortinet world other than Fortinet? Now, what I mean by if some, the team finds something, we'll let you know what's going on. A little bit more information about that. So perfect example. I had one customer who was using the product and they were super happy. They love the dashboards, they love the reporting. And I asked them, hey, how do you like the alert function? And they kind of looked at me a little funny. They're like, you know, as a matter of fact, we've never seen an alert. 
Now this got us very curious because we were like, hey, you looked at the dashboards, you loved the reports, what's going on? And sure enough, when you looked a little closer, he realized he'd had multiple security incidents. Began freaking out, trying to understand, hey, why didn't I get an alert? What was going on? And I easily explained to the person that, hey, guess what? This is exactly what the solution does. What we realized is even though you had put your security in, your security was doing its job, the reality is your business had changed, but your security hadn't. So what happened is we went ahead and triaged these alerts and realized that they were false positives. So no reason to alert you. And that's exactly what this service provides is this amazing ability to have not only a second pair of eyes, making sure that nothing's getting through the cracks and that you're alerted should something happen, but also taking your time off in order to not have to worry about false positives so you can stay focused on what you need to do. Let's go back and take a little bit deeper dive into the reporting. So no system like this would be complete without a ton of amazing reporting available as well. Simply go to reports and as you can quickly see out of the box, there is a ton of information. Now, what's wonderful about this is that the solution is actually built off of 4D Analyzer, which allows us to really slice and dice the data however you need. Let me show you a little bit more example of a couple of my favorite reports that we usually always provide. So the 4D Gate configuration report is usually a 20 to 30 page report that allows you to really drill down into where the areas that your traffic's hitting and what areas could be potentially improved. Here, I've gone ahead and pulled out both the web filtering and IPS uh, reports in order to really understand and show you guys what we mean. So clearly you can take a look at the web filtering here and there's this unrated category of the security profile that we probably want to improve. And again, also on the IPS side, this DNS server spooping uh, security profile. Perfect examples of areas that we probably want to dig into and improve over time. And I'll talk a little bit more about an additional value that the service provides to do just that. Another one of my favorite reports, because there's often so many things going on, especially if you're a partner and you're managing multiple clients. And by the way, yes, this tool does offer multi-tenancy. Um, the weekly report just really helps you understand what's going on, keep track of everything, and that way things aren't slipping through the cracks. Now, with that, let me explain another wonderful service that we also offer for our customers who are using the, our new 40 Guard SOC as a service solution. One of the things that we're willing to do is on a quarterly basis, even speak with folks to understand, hey, here's what we've been seeing the past quarter, our escalations, making sure that everyone's happy with the SLAs, or in the case of that person that I talked about with the false positives, explaining to them and under helping them understand, here's how you can improve your system over time. All you need to do is reach out to the SOC team to try and schedule these things as long as you're a customer of our SOC as a service solution. Last, I'm gonna cover just a super simple way of onboarding. So in order to onboard, it really is as simple as a wizard. Once you've bought the 40 Guard SOC as a service, attach it to the firewall that you wanna have monitored, simply go to 40 Cloud, pick services, SOC as a service, and click on start onboarding. Log collection is gonna be the area that we tell folks, hey, go ahead and pay, point your logs to 40 Analyzer Cloud. Select devices as simply as, as mentioned, pick the firewalls that you want to have monitored. We do highly recommend if you're running firewalls in HA pairing to go ahead and do both of these because you never know when something disaster strikes, what licenses are attached to that high availability pair. Edit devices allows you to put a little bit more information behind those devices, for example, their location, who's running them, potentially different clients. Add monitoring subnets gives you the ability to really drill down and figure out which logs you want to send or don't send. Obviously, most people send us all the logs, but you absolutely do not have to. A couple other curiosities on logs that let me go ahead and answer. Our logs can be hosted in any of our worldwide data centers. However, the people who are keeping an eye on these logs are located around the globe. Finally, as we get to contacts, hey, we found something. Who should we let that person know? Now, typically our partners and our customers are both involved in this, but really it comes down to whoever is responsible for making these changes should probably be the primary contact. But it really is that simple for a P1, we're calling that person, we're emailing them, we're snooze functioning, coming back to them pretty consistently. Escalation pass as is, are as you would imagine. If we somehow can't get a hold of the person in the right way, who do we escalate to? And notes are little things like, hey, I'd like to have my logs stored for more than 90 days. 
great. Thanks for letting us know. Please make sure you've got the additional storage queue and we'll make sure that we set that up. Or I may want to make sure that all my logs are stored in this particular data center. That works too. Once you've gone ahead and onboarded, this is typically what your dashboard is going to look like. Here in this case, we've had three licenses purchased. Two have actually been attached to and onboarded while one continues to not be used. But the really cool part about this is I want you to take a look at when onboarding was first requested and when the service commenced. We only have a 48 hour window between service starting and making sure that this service is live. So that's really how quickly we can be up and running and monitoring your environment in no time. And as mentioned, this is a fully managed service from Fortinet. So anything you need, you simply drop a service request in there, technical assistant, whitelisting, decommissioning, you let us know and we are there to help. All right, let's do a quick recap of what we just covered. First and foremost, the cybersecurity shortage is affecting all of us, whether you're a vendor, whether you're a partner of ours, or one of our clients directly. And the reality is we needed a way to step up and help everybody. That's exactly what we've done with this. Because, hey, who knows the Fortinet environment better than Fortinet? Nobody. So what we've done is allow folks to forward their logs from the FortiGate or clients to our own Fortinet SOC team. We do this by sending those logs to our instance of 40 Analyzer Cloud, which allows our SOC team to be on the case and use our own SOC tools like 40 Analyzer, 40 SOAR, and additional elements that are help us really understand and triage alerts to understand what's real and what's worth your time. This is all manned by a team of 24 by seven around the sun SOC experts. The logs are stored by, on, by default for 90 days, but can easily be extended for more with the addition of a storage SKU. Everything you need is encapsulated in that single FortiGuard SOC as a service SKU, and it is licensed per FortiGate. If we find something that's worth your time, we're gonna let you know in as little as 15 minutes. A P2 is 45 minutes, a P3 is 90 minutes, and a P4 is six hours. And in that alert, we're gonna to explain to you what's happened, why, the impact it's having, and our recommendations on steps to remediate. As long as you understand how to configure a FortiGate, you should be able to follow the instructions with no problem. But even if you do need help, or if you have additional questions, easily just quickly open up a chat box, chat function, and start talking to a real live Fortinet security expert. Again, 24 by seven. Obviously that P1 goes by, it goes back and forth very quickly, but it's not a chatbot, it's a real live human being. And all the reporting helps you understand and communicate up and down the chain what's happening, keep yourself organized with what's going on. We even go that one big step more to even sit down with folks on a quarterly basis and explain to them what we've been seeing and our recommendations on steps that they can take to solidify and hone their system. So, for me and the rest of the SOC team at Fortinet, I hope you guys are seeing just how much value is here and why this has been such an amazing solution for us. We hope it's been interesting for you as well. We can't wait to help. Thanks and have a great day.